Number 49. In example 25.7, the magnification of a book held 7.5 centimeters from a 10 centimeter focal length lens was found to be 4. Okay, letter A. Find the magnification now uh, for the book when it is held 8.5 centimeters from the magnifier. All right, so it basically turns out that the information before, none of it really is relevant except for the focal length. And the reason why is because the focal length is what is an inherent property of the lens itself. It's not going to change. All right. So we know the focal length is 10 centimeters. I'm just going to convert everything to meters in this problem. So it's 0.1 meters. Okay. So it wants us to find the magnification. So we have to find M. And it's saying that the book now, the object, therefore, is held 8.5 centimeters from the magnifier. All right. So the object distance, therefore, is going to be 0 0.085. All right. Meters. So in order to find magnification, I already know that I have kind of object distance. So I'm going to be using this equation over here on the right-hand side. It says that negative di, the image distance, divided by the object distance is going to be equal to the magnification. I already know do. i got to find di. That's my question now. I'm not thinking about magnification anymore. I'm thinking about how do I find di or the image distance given the information I have. And the answer to that is I use the thin lens equation that one divided by the object distance plus one divided by the image distance will equal one divided by the focal length. I need to solve this for the image distance and therefore I'm going to subtract this term on over to the right and then just do a little cross multiplication here to kind of make it look nice and solve it basically for clean it up on the top a little bit and solve it for the image distance and literally it's that simple that straightforward okay. So now this is going to be one divided by then one over that focal length of 0 0.1 minus then 1 over that object distance of 0 0.085. So let's calculate it. So do the denominator first. 1 divided by 0 0.1 minus 1 divided by 0 0.085. Get about negative 1.76 and then do 1 divided by now that value. So here is now the image distance. It is negative 0.567 roughly, right? And that'll be in terms of meters. All right. So now what we're going to do is now that we know di, we can now take that and plug it on into the equation. Okay, plug in the signs and all. So this is negative now, negative 0 0.567, all divided by then 0 0.085. That will equal the magnification. And we plug and chug now. So let's plug that into the calculator. And we get a value of about 6.67, right? 6.67, and it's positive. All right, that's the magnification. Okay, so now it says do the same when it is held 9.5 centimeters from the magnifier. So, you know, it's going to be the same exact calculations here, except this now turns into 0 0.095. This would become 0 0.095. And I'm going to do the calculation again. So it's 1 divided by 0 0.1 minus then 1 divided by 0 0.095. Then 1 divided by that value. Right, this is now negative now 1.0. 9 meters. Take that and then plug it in here, negative 1.9. Divide that by 0 0.0. Uh, by the way, divide that by 0 0.0. Almost forgot that. Divide that by the 0 0.095 since the number changed. All right. And you're going to get a positive now 20. Okay. So this turns out to be positive 20 now. And it says then comment on the trend. Well, it goes up. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Um, you know, thank you for watching. All right, I really do hope this is helping. And uh, if it is, give us a hand, like, and subscribe. Doodaloo.